Welcome. Let's talk about Moving Average Convergence Divergence, or MACD for short. It is one of the most powerful tools that investors can use to gauge the momentum and possible direction of a stock's price movement. It might sound complex, but the MACD is all about understanding trends and momentum, giving investors a clearer picture of when to enter or exit a trade. At its core, the MACD is simply the difference between two moving averages, the 12-day exponential moving average and the 26-day EMA. The MACD line provides a visual representation of this difference, showing how fast a stock's price is moving in the short term versus the longer term. In simpler terms, the MACD tells us whether short-term enthusiasm is growing faster or slower than the long-term trend. But that's not the whole picture. To smooth out the MACD and make it easier to interpret, we also use what is called the signal line, a nine-day EMA of the MACD. This signal line helps traders spot changes in momentum even more clearly. The interplay between the MACD line and the signal line gives rise to the famous MACD crossovers that can often predict key shifts in price trends. As the great Jesse Livermore once said, the trend is your friend until it ends. The MACD helps you catch that ending, or a new beginning, early. When the blue MACD line crosses above the red signal line, this crossover is considered a bullish signal. It suggests that short-term momentum is outpacing the long-term average, and often, it's seen as a good point to consider entering a buy position. Picture it like the early notes of a melody starting to build, indicating the beginning of an upbeat tune. On the other hand, when the MACD crosses below the signal line, it typically implies that bearish momentum is taking over, and this might be a good time to think about selling or securing profits. It's the musical equivalent of the song Winding Down, Time to prepare for the end. Let's take a look at the recent MACD chart for Alcoa. Ticker symbol AA, a key player in the aluminum sector. Over the past year, Alcoa has experienced both strong, bullish and bearish phases, reflected by the MACD chart's peaks and valleys. During times when the MACD line surged well above the signal line, we saw bullish strength driving the stock higher, suggesting an optimistic outlook from investors. These moments represent opportunities for investors who want to ride the upward momentum, with the signal appearing almost like a friendly wave saying, hop on. However, there have been times when the MACD line has crossed below the signal line, and this has generally indicated that the bullish energy was starting to fade. Most recently, at the end of October 2024, we observed such a crossover where the blue MACD line dropped below the red signal line. This is what we call a bearish crossover. In practical terms, it tells us that investors might want to be cautious as momentum is slowing down. Think of it as a road sign saying, sharp curve ahead, proceed with caution. The strength of these crossovers can also provide insight. For instance, the greater the distance between the mass CD and the signal line, the more confidence we might have in the direction of the trend. Wide gaps indicate strong momentum in either direction. So if the blue mass CD line moves significantly above the red signal line, it's not just a whisper of bullishness, it's a cheer from the market. But if it plunges well below, it may be shouting, look out below. The MACD, however, is not a perfect tool. It works best when used in combination with other indicators or as part of a broader trading strategy. Always remember that while the MACD helps in identifying momentum, it cannot predict every market move. No tool can. The markets are influenced by countless factors, from earnings reports to global events, and understanding the context of these movements is key. If you're interested in learning more about how the MACD works and would like to dive deeper into its mechanics, I highly recommend checking out Investopedia's detailed explanation or the thorough guide from TradingView. Both of these are great resources to help you understand not just the what, but the why behind the MACD indicator. So whether you're just getting started in the world of technical analysis or looking to refine your skills, the MACD can be an incredibly helpful guide if used wisely. Remember, it's like a dance partner that keeps you in rhythm with the markets. It won't predict every step, but it will help you move with the flow. There are no guarantees in the stock market, but making logical decisions is the most important starting place. Indicators help remove emotion. 
If you enjoyed this journey into the world of technical analysis, please give this a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Until next time, take care and happy investing. Remember, this is just an opinion and is not intended to take the place of a professional. It's merely a jumping off point for further discussion. Nothing we've said here is investment advice. It is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Seek the help of a properly registered investment professional before taking any action. This media may contain ideas we have adopted or not, as we see fit, and we may have positions and securities mentioned.